pricing of new product. This new product will pose a challenge problem for any firm. So in the case of new product, uh, there is no permission for a state of threat and uh, consumer reactions in any nature. But if new product is with high effectiveness among the uh, existing products, then the price will be fixed on the basis of such factors as demands, market uh, targets, and the promotional uh, strategy. Now we have some methods or strategies of pricing uh, a new product. Generally, we have two types of strategies. We have a uh, price scheme and we have a penetration scheme. So if you are talking of the price scheme, when a product is introduced in the market, the firm fixed if much higher than the cost of production. Of course, that is where how such a producer can make it only. So the consumer are ready to pay a high price to enjoy the pleasure of being the sale of the product. So the higher the price charge helps to skim the screen and cream off the market at the time when there is no competition. So there is possible, this is possible of course, because the newly introduced product reach the hand of the consumers after a long waiting. And by the time it comes to the market, a heavy demand for the same has accumulated. So when fixing the price, where by the time the producer fixes the price, the producer takes the advantage of the market. And these market situations will not continue for long. So in the long run, the new firms will enter into the industry. So in the, the, the number of the enthusiastic buyers, that is the interested buyer, who, who are ready to buy at a higher price will be decreased. So that is just it. Just for example, now when electronics goods like televisions, tape recorders, calculators were introduced, their price were very high. But gradually, when the when 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 more and more new producers imitated these products, their price came down. So that is just the uh, example of the scheming uh, price scheming. Now the penetration scheming now, the price fixed is relatively one, but the, 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 the pricing is resorted to when the new product faced a strong uh, competition from the existing substitute product. So when the new firms enter an existing market, where there are a number of the firms, it has to penetrate the market. And now, if you look at this uh, pricing, the psychological pricing, if you look at it very well, you discover that many customers use the price as, as an indicator of quality. In some cases, the price does not have the quality of the product. But the psychological, the psychological trend, the psychological trend, but the psychological trend has, has, has really let us understand that cost and other factors are important because psychology of the price is also considered. The psychological of uh, the price is also considered as, uh, is also considered. Certain aspect of that is only considered the certain uh, uh, people that prefer high price products because they consider to be of high quality. Costly items, diamond, jewelry, example, just for example, within the status of the person who we are there. So, what you are saying here in essence now is that it's a psychological belief 
that when the price of the commodity is higher, then that, that shows the quality of that uh, product. Are you getting it? Then number uh, two is customer pricing. Okay, this one is just like uh, uh, when the customer expects a particular price to be charged for certain products. So the price are fixed. So as to show it the local conditions. So the customers are familiar with the market conditions and the manufacturer can know the price. So such a product are typically a standardized one. So certain business people, they reduce the size of the product if the cost of the manufacturing increases. So sometimes the firm change the, pro the price by adopting new package. Are you getting it? So the example of this customer pricing is can be related to that of a confessional uh, items. So whereby they reduce the quality or the quantity rather. So well, then we have the scheming pricing. This one involves a high introductory price in the initial stage. So as to scheme the certain, uh, the, 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 the cream of what of the demand. So the product when introduced in the market have a limited uh, period free from other manufacturers. So during this period, it aims at profit maximizations. And according to the favorable market conditions, generally the, the price move down. And when competitors enter into the market, market feed will definitely come down because of the competitions are uh, competitive advantages. Then penetration uh, pricing. A low price is designed in the initial stage. A low price is designed in the initial stage with a view to capture the market shares. So this is E, that is if, if the pricing policy is to capture the greater market share, then it is done only by adoption of low price in the initial stage. Because of the low price, sales, the sales value will be definitely increased and competition will work, will definitely fall down. Then we have uh, the graphical uh, pricing, yes. The distance between uh, the, the, the buyers is considered geographical pricing because in most, in most country, rather, the cost of the transportation is an important pricing factor because of the wide or wide geographical distance. So the, the production centers, human centers, are you getting it? So where they are producing it, consuming it, the, the distance, the distance between them is a particular factors that determine the price. It's as they produce a product here in Lagos and they are taking it to Kano to be sold. So the distance is a what is a factor that determine the price. <clears throat> so there are three ways of charging transit. You know, when we are talking of transporting a product from Lagos to Kano, as it, it, the case may be. So it, it, it put to a particular extra fee of transit charge or uh, little, uh, uh, transportation uh, charges. So we have a FOB, eh? that is uh, FOB in the original price, the, 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 the buyer will, will have to incur the cost of transit and in F stations. So the, the price influences the cost of transit charges. Then we have some pricing. Under this, the, the, the company divides the market into zones and quote uniform price to all um buy within the within a particular zone. So the, the price are not uniform all over the country. It depends on the zones. That is when you might be, you can be seeing or you may be seeing a product at uh, two Naira 50 Kobo in Lagos. And when you get to the eastern part of the country, you will discover that you'll be meeting it at the rate of two, uh, two Naira 80 Kobo. Are you getting it? So simply because of the zoning uh, considerations. As a result of this, the, the, the price are not uniform all over the country. And the price in, in, in one zone varies from that of another one. So the price are uniform within a zone and the price is quoted by adding the transport uh, cost. So that is why it, 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 it called for that uh, variance. So then the base point pricing, of course, this one is, is characterized by, by partial absorption of a transport uh, cost by the company. 
So one or more cities are selected as points from which all the shipping charges are, are calculated. Then we have the administ administered uh, price. The, this is defined as the price that was resorted from the managerial decision and not on the basis of the cost or competitions or demand. But this price is set by the management after considering all the relevant factors. So there are many similar products from different, different uh, firms and or, or even more or less the price tends to be uniform. Usually the administer price is on hotter for a considerable uh, period of time. Then we have the dual pricing. Under this dual pricing, the producer is required a compulsory to sell a part of his product to the government or it authorized agency at a substantially low price. So the rest of the product may be sold in the open market at by the producers. Make up pricing. This method is also known as cost plus pricing. So it's, it's, it's generally adopted by the wholesalers and retailers. So when they set up the price initially, a certain added to the cost for making the price. Then we have a uh, price uh, leading. We have digital uh, pricing, we have uh, competitive bidding, or bidding rather, the monopoly pricing. Under this monopoly pricing, the, the, the monopolistic uh, condition exists. And we are product so exclusive by one producer or seller. So when a new product is moved to, to the market, its price is monopoly price. That is, the, 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 the price will be maximized the profit as there is no pricing problems. Yes, then what are the procedures for pricing determinations? When we are talking of the uh, procedures for pricing um, determination, what does that think that it is? Hello everyone. I guess your um, lecturer is having an um, issue with network, mm. but please we are sorry for uh, mm. sorry for the um, delay because due to some technical issue. But please help to um, give this new link to other students, please, so that they can join the next class. Please help give this new link to the to other students so that they can join um, the next class. So thank you and God bless you. And please, before you go, please be reminded that your exam is fast approaching. So the timetable and the modalities will be sent mm. across to you. So in this view, please, all payment should be made so that you will not be stopped from writing the exam. Thank you and do have a wonderful Sunday ahead. God bless you.